Hi guys. So last time we talked about the private design schools, jobs opportunity, and I tried to explain why a recommendation cannot be possible. And then we talked also a little bit about the difference between the private school methodology, teaching methodology and the public school teaching methodology in design. Now, before I, I start talking about today's topic, which is more concentrated on public teaching methodology and so on, public school, like architecture, engineering, in which or polytechnics, where we can find uh, also uh, fairly good uh, departments of industrial design, in some cases, transportation design, where they offer also masters, you know, on design. I would like to open a little parenthesis to say that uh, even if uh, during 31 years of my car designer career and changed few companies and also turned a little bit around design schools around the world for lectures or as a teacher, I hardly seen people at top level coming from public design schools. But I do have two or three friends or colleagues that come from public school and they are very, very important top managers in the automotive design business. And one of those, many of you, I'm sure they know him, it's uh, Flavio Manzoni, who is an architect that uh, got his uh, internship at Fiat at the same time I was there. And today, uh, the, the role of uh, VP Design at Ferrari. Before that, he was in uh, SEAT uh, as a head of uh, interior design. And uh, before that, <laughs> he was in Fiat with us. So when I was there. So, what I want to say, why did I say this? Because I, I'm not saying that uh, who goes to public school cannot make it into car design. No, not at all, okay? The only thing that I would like to uh, grab your attention on is that uh, the methodology, the teaching methodology is so different than sometimes, or most of the times, in the private design schools because teachers and teaching methodology is so specific for car design, it is a lot easier and faster for talented young people that love to be car designers to go to a private design school and get their diploma, their bachelor, their master, and have all the most important notions, okay, skills, creativity, how you prepare a portfolio and all that stuff that will give them the best cars to play to get a job. In the case of public school, it's a little bit different. So, now, not everybody has the greatest or the great talent that Flavio has, Flavio Manzoni has, and few others. So, I would, mostly I would say that uh, for people like uh, Flavio, probably with or without school, he would have made it anyway, because his talent is so high that this guy was born to become a very talented, good designer and also design manager. But of course, this is a sort of an exception that is confirming the rule. Because uh, when we go and check how in architecture, uh, in some architectural universities or in some engineering universities, like also in India, because I know they do, or in some polytechnic schools, they teach car design, we can see that there is a, a big difference between what do they do and what they produce compared to private design schools. So, I want to make this clear because I don't want to be accused that I am against 
someone or some institution and in favor of another. I just want to remark really the differences, okay? Now, if you are somebody that has a very, very good talent, that you already have good skills, you know, that you really do already, but when I say already, it means already at very high level, because you are so passionate and you worked so hard and you were able to look, to watch other people's work and learn their technique and reproduce those techniques correctly, of course, even if you are in a public school or if you don't have the chance to have the best teachers in the world or all card designers teachers or all talented students next to you, even if you do not have all this, you can make it. You can make it because your talent is very strong and you have to use all the time available, your passion to make sure that you improve as much as you can because when you will be out of school, as you know, you will be in competition with all the other students that are coming out from private design schools. In which schools they, of course, they teach and they, and they, how can I say, they use this uh, specific method, okay, that makes it easier for a student to understand from A, to Zira what he has to do in order to learn, exercise and show results, good results. Many times, for example, people that come from private public schools, when they show their portfolio, because I do receive some emails with portfolios and stuff, they have a very different way of showing the portfolio. They have a very different way to show their their uh, curriculum vitae, which is very, very basic, very simple white page, A4, uh, a little bit as we used to do many, many years ago. So, you understand that there are some missing lack of uh, informations that are very strictly oriented to car design world. And that's what the industry is looking for. So, there is this... Uh, bigger distance, I would say, between the notion of the academics or the classic academic teaching method in public school and the real world of the industry in which I am and what we are looking for. There is still this difference. So it's more academics versus private, which is much more practical and much more connected with the industry, with teachers that are designers that have a very open mind and that force their students to be very open-minded. Therefore, here we have probably a more innovative approach with the faster results that is closer to what we are expecting, we as industry, we are expecting. Now, let's talk a little bit what do you do if you are in a public school, you are not a super talent, you cannot afford to go to a private school, okay, and, and therefore you are a little bit stuck into this scenario. My suggestion is very simple. There is a lot of things you have to do and you can do by yourself. If you think that some of the teaching, some of the requests, some of the exams, some of the the daily life in this uh, public school is not really helping you very strongly to become a, a good car designer uh, student, you can do a few things. First of all, you can try to find all the time available you have to work more on your skills, because basically the main problem is the skills. And you know that the more, the better you get to your skills, the easier it will be for you to use your creativity and express your creativity on paper. If you don't have good skills and you don't exercise with your skills, what happens? That you will have strong difficulties in expressing yourself. Therefore, your ideas will never come onto the paper the way you think in your brain. 
And because car design or industrial design in general, design in general, it's a very visual communication type of job and discipline, you must work well with your pencil and your skills so that people, when they see your work, they understand right away what you, what you meant, what you want to present, and they can judge if your creativity, it's a good creativity, it's a medium creativity, or it's a poor creativity. So, usually, that's the only thing you can do. You have to work harder because you are in a different situation and because you cannot probably have all the supports you need in school. And uh, therefore you have to go and search for images. You have to go and search for references. You have to go and look what other design schools are doing and are producing so that you can check and then compare with what you are producing. And then you will realize right away if you are missing something and therefore you have to work harder and where you are missing something. Because you have to give yourself some priorities. You cannot do everything on your own by yourself, but you will have priorities. If you realize that you have a good creativity by your skills in sketching, with a pencil, with a pen, are not very good because perspective are not good, the line quality is not good, the, 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 the composition is a little bit strange, and uh, the sketches are too small, or too crooked, or, or strange, awkward, then study how other students that are better than you are making their sketches. And you can easily try to understand the logic behind those composition on page. If you learn that, this will be a great help for you to make order and to be able alone to do what in school you are not receiving. And uh, I think this is an important effort you can make. Then another thing you can do once you finish your architecture uh, bachelor or engineering, then in that case, probably you should find someone that can look at your portfolio, okay? They can look at your works, at your projects, and they then eventually can tell you to make a one year of master in a specialized design school. Like for example, those schools that are in Italy or also in India, in Germany, we have few also here in France. There is one very, very good in Sweden. But I know that also Art Center is, uh, and CCS are offering very good masters. So, if you are able at least to follow one year, and you might even find scholarships, okay, that can help you on the cost, because of course there will be a cost, but don't forget that's an investment on your future, then you can, uh, go over there for one year and complete, okay, in a more professional way, what you learned in a public school and also by yourself, okay? All right, I think that I said everything. Thank you very much and uh, take care, keep on following, share, comments. I will, uh, I will answer to you with great pleasure. If you want to go and check uh, Flavio's work, Flavio Manzoni, you can Google his name, he's very famous, and you will find lots of beautiful stuff from which you can learn, you should learn, okay? Bye-bye.